Hey, good morning, everybody. It's about 7.30 here in Corpus Christi, Texas. Uh, for those of you who evacuated before Hurricane Harvey, I wanted to give you an early look now that the sun is up from, uh, from my neighborhood here in Corpus Christi, actually. Behind me, over my shoulder, there's a tree down. Mostly, that's what we're seeing here, just trees down. Um, while you never want to see that, it's, uh, it's actually not as bad as having roofs off and that is not something that I'm seeing right now okay I do not see anybody whose roofs have peeled off in this storm let me walk out here and just give you a broader look if you can still hear me uh, this is in central Corpus Christi okay central Corpus Christi and you're looking down a street here in one of the older neighborhoods Marissa I'm in the Morningside area um, just so to give you a general idea I am in central Corpus Christi in one of the older neighborhoods and this is what it looks like on the morning after the storm. Okay, we've still got some pretty gusty winds but not a lot of driving rain. We're seeing some spot flooding but we are not seeing a, a lot of major damage. Let me walk down here and show you, try to keep the cameras. So this is looking down my street here in Corpus Christi. Yes, there are still news reporters embedded out in Rockport. As soon as we can get them moving, we're going to get them out and about. Uh, I think a lot of people are thinking about Rockport this morning, and we are certainly thinking about them too. We're going to try to get you as much information as we can. A lot of people in this neighborhood um, boarded up and got out. So this is for anyone out there who uh, evacuated before the storm. I'm trying to get you as much information as quickly as I can just to show you what it looks like here in Corpus Christi. <clears throat> so again, this is an older neighborhood in central part of Corpus Christi. We've got big, big sections of trees down, but mostly people's roofs look like they're in pretty good shape. Again, we have a lot of trees down. Yvette Bar Barrera, this is in Central Corpus Christi. In Central Corpus Christi, not far from Ray High School. In an older, one of the older neighborhoods. So I'm just going to walk real quickly and try to give you guys at least an early morning now that the sun's up. Look, and again, I just want to reiterate that what I'm seeing is a lot of trees are down, but miraculously, the lights are still on here. We still have power, but that's what we're seeing this morning. Yes, that is near Ray High School and one of the older. Jeffrey, I want some breakfast tacos too, but I don't think anybody's open yet. We're going to try to get to the south side as soon as we can. I haven't checked in yet with our newsroom. I just wanted to give people a quick look, but I do know we're going to be out there and about today trying to give you all the latest information on not only the weather, but on our water situation, on emergency services. I heard the chief say this morning, the police chief, that they've got patrols back out. They're trying to assess damage and try to get things back to normal as soon as possible. Including power. I know a lot of people are without power. This, this, little, this side of the street, sorry. This side of the street has power. This side of the street appears to not have power. So I'm going to get back in my truck. I'm going to drive around and just take a look around and see what I see out here. And I'll keep doing these posts until I make my way back to the studio. Guys, stay on ChrisTV.com. Download our app so that you can stream our live broadcast from the studio. That's the Nerve Central. That's the, the information center for everything. All reporters are feeding their information back. Again, this is in Central Corpus Christi, the morning after Harvey. We've got trees down, but roofs look good. Roofs look good. It looks like the, the most damage we've had here in this part of town, at least in this little stretch of it, is trees down. Is it safe to go back to Corpus? Right now, the police are saying, be patient. Let, us get, let them get their job done. Let them assess the damage before they give the all clear, okay? So guys, just the word today is patience and understanding, and don't panic. We're gonna get as much information to you as we can, okay? Stay tuned in to Chris TV News. We're still broadcasting. We're still on the air. 
We're also streaming live on the Chris Six News app, and the weather app is there to download as well, okay? So keep it here. We'll talk to you guys soon.